Hey, what's up? Agent Poof here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And I am so excited to be recording this video because I am going to be showcasing the new Crafting Dead. So if you guys do not know, I used to play The Crafting Dead. I used to record it on previous channels all the time. It was a really good mod pack, in my opinion. Things happened when uh, the original owner that made this mod pack, this amazing mod pack, left the community because he wanted to do his own thing. He wanted to, you know, like, just live life, you know what I mean? He didn't really want to work on this mod pack, so the co, I'm pretty sure, was an admin at the time, I'm pretty sure. Basically, a co-owner took over, and now, here it is. Now, the Craft and Dead has been through a lot of hardships lately, you know, with the Craft and Dead dying and all that. And after this, I can finally say that the Crafting Dead is actually worth playing now. I've been in this community for years, and years and years and years and of course i fought for the community because i really do love the community this much and i don't want it to die so today we're actually going to be showcasing this whole mod pack i've played it a few times this new mod pack but i'm not really sure like what to entail because like right now i'm playing it on curse forge instead of technic launcher because they don't have it on technic launcher anymore they are currently making a new map for the crafting dead that way everybody can go ahead and enjoy it so right now it's like the original page for the craft and dead when you log on the official craft and dead on technic launcher where you have this little box here that shows all the change logs and everything so it's actually really cool so you can see all the logs that happened recently they um this is like it goes from older to newer newer is up here as you can see they added a bunch of new mod packs as well that you cannot add in the 1.6.4 version and i'm really really excited for it so um here are the options if you want to go ahead and uh and change your options then there is play game and home so home just puts you to here I, I love how they added the character here because that used to be a big part of the crafting dead and it still is till this day which i really really enjoy oh shoot when you press the escape button it actually changes the hat i didn't even realize that that's actually a really cool feature i love that genuinely i am really really excited for the new map release that's going to be releasing once the crafting dead fully releases currently it's in beta right now so it won't really be fully released until the beta is done until they're done adding all the things until they're done you know just making sure that bugs are fixed which i'm very happy about because i rather have quality over quantity yeah i don't want to keep rambling on because i know that you don't want to hear my voice for that long so let's go ahead and let's play the freaking game so right now from what i heard there's only two servers of course, an experimental server, which is 1.16, called Riverside. That's what the map is called. And another server called Salmon Survival, which does have a quite a quite a good amount of players. I mean, it's only five and one, so six people in total are basically playing the Crafting Dead. Then there's this, which is TDM. I'm pretty sure this is what they're working on right now, which is the new map, which I'm very, very excited for. Then you can play single player right here, and then you can play custom right here. So you can add, you can do whatever you want here. So yeah, let, let's get on the salmon survival only because it has more people and i play the crafting dead for a living right because like i love the crafting dead who doesn't okay so i had to uh fix up some settings on the server let me turn down some of these sounds because they uh it looks a little bit too loud it sounds too loud because i hear the birds i think chirping and all that but yeah as you can see here this is one of the servers which is honestly looks insane and of course there's also voice in-game voices so you can actually i think you press v right for that right oh you gotta press you gotta go to settings and then you gotta like do all your stuff okay that's actually really cool like um i all you gotta do is just go to settings then you can like select a microphone um, um what is there select here and then go back and i'm pretty sure you can talk maybe oh my gosh look you can hear him talk right, right now so what am i supposed to trade for those m uh, m191s max 
that actually looks really cool i love this sir I, I already love this mod pack i love it i don't even know how to talk because it's not letting me talk but it looks insane what do you want and over trade? here like i know that this is like the spawn trade? area so it's not really different at all but yeah look at this and also Boy. they have this gui as well I, I hate how they have this let me go out uh, away from this guy i don't like how it has the destroy the tree thing right here hopefully they update that so that, that way they can remove it i'm not sure if they can because that is part of the game so um you can't really do anything about it it also shows materials that you need so like Mm, you don't really need any of this stuff this is like not crafting dead type stuff so like you might as well throw that out and here's the bread here the first aid kit is also the same it's like a you heal with it but i don't really use I'm these afraid. to heal sometimes it kind of depends oh my gosh and look at the gun animation too it, it actually looks really cool it looks like the same as it usually was before but it actually looks really really cool and how do you reload actually oh you gotta sh press a shooting button to reload and then oh shoot and then it takes out the magazine for you and if you don't need the magazine you just throw it onto the ground like that so you aim with your right click which is actually really cool all right now let me do slash uh, i'm pretty sure r spawn right no it's not r spawn so how do you get to the wild i think it's slash wild so normally the normal command is slash r spawn but for this server it's much much different oh my god this is actually really cool look at the water particles on that and then look at the the sound of the water as well that actually sounds a uh, really really amazing what the heck is this oh there's sentry turrets too no way that actually looks really cool i love this gamer oh my who just oh i think that thing just hit me oh my god there's also computers there's computers guys computers no way this actually looks really cool and apparently this person in chat i already asked this person in chat said yeah you'll see a big red text after that'll have you teleport to the wilderness i'm pretty sure which i'm pretty sure is in here right yeah so this actually looks really cool so apparently i'm in the wilderness right now which um not gonna lie is pretty weird because I, i'm not really used to this it's uh of course a different server so you're not really gonna like you know have certain things the same and all that but it's more of like a factions type server as well is what i heard but yeah this isn't really like an official server but yeah let's hop on to another server which is the riverside server okay so i just logged on that server and apparently you can't log on that server at the moment it won't let me for some reason they're probably working on something right now as we speak and oh my gosh that looks cool let me guess so if i do slash f create is that no slash is slash f i don't know how to do this guys i really don't so i'm pretty sure that to loot boxes that you have to go to the city which is the city is right here that i just passed and oh my god these are the zombies yo get get the heck away from me bro okay Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. I like the pushback on the weapon. And I just ran out of ammo. I'm pretty sure that R was supposed to be to reload and stuff, but apparently it's not. Oh, and I have a bat. I can just use that. Oh, nope. I don't. I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding out now. I'm out of here. I'm freaking out of here. Why am I still getting hit? Why am I still getting hit? What? How? Wow. Well, that was unexpected, and they even left a death marker for me. Nice. But yeah, this is just a little uh, sneak peek of what the Crafting Dead is like. I am really excited, like I said, about the Crafting Dead. If I were to go on Riverside, I would show you about the loot boxes and all that. So let me just give you an example. A loot box looks like this, basically. It looks similar to that. All you got to do is just right-click it, and then it'll uh the item will drop and then whatever item you get is whatever item you get again it's still in beta everything is still in beta and out okay i just broke my leg but yeah if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you guys are so excited for this mod pack and um yeah i can't wait to make future videos of this so i'll see you all in the next craft and dead video peace out